into shape. Shape it up. Get up, let's dance. <laughs> Cause I have got some exciting news going down in the kitchen of love and light. Whip it good. <laughs> Y'all, it's exciting because I'm fixing to show you an extravaganza of no fat, raw vegan, everything you need, nothing you don't, dips and sauces. That's right, I said it. So here's the thing. My friend that I have been working with, we had a coaching session and then we decided for her follow-up that I would come to her every day in a little video clip it with her questions. She would have the cue and I would have the, hey, hey, I got you A. So one of her questions was, in the afternoon I typically suggest that people have celery and a, a fruit dip that is going to be balanced with veggies, celery for sodium so you can get off your dang salt cravings with a little hit of sugar woo from the fruit to give you some afternoon energy some pick pick me up so to speak well we were talking about some different dips and it gave me an idea to talk to y'all about some no fat dips these are really good i have made all these up and i've only been home 30 minutes okay and you can enjoy my really really can you all enjoy this mess i'm gonna have to clean up and i know what you're thinking you're thinking tanny how are you going to eat all those? Oh, I can eat them all, but the ones that I don't want to eat, I basically can stir in a little bit of lemon or lime and it will be a preservative if those don't already have it in the recipe. And it will last up to five days in the fridge. I could also freeze it and pull it out at a later date for a quick bam, you know? So here's what they are. Let me show you. Let's, w without any, any further ado, you know what I'm saying? So here we go. Let's come over here. And what else is exciting is my mom is coming over here and she said she got me some kind of prize and I don't know what it is, but I want it. And none of these, well, one of them's green, but she doesn't enjoy green food. So she might try these and she likes, well, Tanya, I like a light fruity dressing or, or dip. So we'll see if she will like these. And She'll not be on camera, but I'll let you know if she likes them. So, here we go. First of all, I think I just showed y'all this, but these are some new cucumbers. Hello. Oh, I know you're good. They're really, really good. Okay, so, also, I have the fabulous, I mean, can you, this produce is beautiful. Look at it. Y'all, this was a dollar. Okay, and the, when you buy your fruit for dips, make sure like these peaches are really ready to eat because you want them to be nice and sweet, you know, like this champagne mango. Okay, so also these are very interesting for a little different pungent hit. So, back to the, um, the agenda. So, first of all, for dip number one, which is this one. I want to tell you what it tastes like. As you see, even being a fruit-based dressing, it's very, um, has some staying power. See? Let me show you. Hmm? Very delicious. It doesn't need a thing. That has one and a half cups of red bell pepper. It had one and a half cups of ripe mango and one stalk of celery. And when I'm talking about a stalk, I used about about this size right here. So, you know, a normal size stalk, pretty big. Because that's going to give it a little more volume and, and a little bulk to hold it together. And also, um, a little saltiness, right? So, that's what it looks like. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? And as I'm showing you, it's like very, do you see? I know I double dip, but I'm eating this my dang self, okay? So, let's see. That's dressing number one. Number two is two cups of peaches, very ripe, use the skin and all, take out the pit of course, one and a half cup of yellow bell pepper, one fourth of a lime, which I basically cut it in force, I peeled off the, the wedge, obviously the green, and I used the pith and all, the fibrous part, and um, one stalk of celery again, and let me just show you how delicious that is. Do you all see that right there? Look at it. Mmm. Do you see what's going on? It's like a sweet and spicy combo, which makes a good dip every dang time. Okay, so that was dressing number two. 
Dressing number three, which is right here, which might be the best one, is one cup of um, champagne mango, one cup of celery, and about three-fourths teaspoon, this is important, teaspoon of, um, let me see where I put it. I'm going to put it back, yes, ground yellow mustard. Do you see this? Be careful with this stuff because you can overdo it really easily. So I used, first I started with a half of a teaspoon and then I added in a little bit more. But you know I like it spicy so a half might be enough. But maximum three-fourth teaspoon. So let's look at that, shall we? I want you to see. Look at that. No fat. Look how creamy. Let's have it. Shazam. And I'm sorry that I'm the only one getting to taste test these. It's not my fault. You didn't come over. Okay. Dressing number four, which is a little more spicy hit right here, is one cup of um, champagne mango. Oh, you know what? I lied. This, um, no, I didn't. That has champagne mango too. But you could use regular, but that's what gave it that more mustardy color, okay? This right here is one cup of chopped champagne mango, one half cup of a Cabela pepper. Depending on what kind of pepper you use, you can make this spicy or not. This has a little bit of heat kick, but again, look at the stickability of this. Do you see? Do you know what I mean by stickability? Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's got a little heat back in it up, and I like that. So, there you have it. And here, of course, is the chiffonade chopped turnip greens, which is where basically you um, are going to wash your turnip greens or whatever greens, lay them flat, roll them up in like a little cigar, and then chop them to the side, like, like if you were cutting the end of a cigar or a nori roll, really thin. And it makes these little ribbons, and it's very beautiful, and it's easier to digest and hold all of my delicious dips. Back here, I have some julienne sliced carrots. I have some other little dipping goodies right there. Do y'all see? It's this easy every dang day that you can whip it up and you can whip your life into shape, right? <laughs> that was good. That was four dressings. <laughs> see y'all later.